<laughs> Happy to help. Hey, let's do it. Good. good. How, How are, are you? you? Good. Good. It's been a great experience so far. This Comic Con. It's my third year, but um, something special about this year. Something different. I think it's the overall tone, just the fans. You can really feel the the love and the respect and. and this like undertone of just appreciation in a way. Like everybody knows they have to say goodbye and nobody wants to do it. Um, it's cool, it's something special, you know? When you feel the feeling, it's it's just hard not to smile to yourself like a chump and just being like, yo, I'm a, I'm a part of something that means something to somebody, you know? You had some sort of an impact on someone, whether it be large or just minuscule. Regardless, it's a... Uh, I think as, as a creative or as an artist, it's beautiful. That's what we do this for, you know what I mean? Just to, to give back and to, to give something to, you know, to someone that you know, hopefully it could inspire them and change their, change their life in a way. And that, you know, I feel like is that wave and that butterfly effect just keeps radiating, so. What do you hope when the show is over, what do you hope that fans take away from the show? And just the experience in, in general, you know what I mean? Like growing up alongside of a show, it's like a memory that's solidified for you for the rest of your life. But this, the, the thought alone that some of our fans now will be, you know, 30 years old with children. Like, oh, I remember back when I was a kid, you know, teen, well, like the way my parents talk about shows now, like that is crazy to me. And I just feel like, you know, with the passion that's involved with Teen Wolf, I just, this show is just never going, the, the love will never dissipate. It's just going to keep growing. It's going to keep spreading. And that's something special. So I'm happy. <laughs> my, my cheek's been hurting, to be honest. I've been smiling like a little dumbass all day. I'm from Brazil, and this show, as you know, is huge there. Is it? Uh, it's like crazy. It's big. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the fans would like you to know what about your character that you're going to play what, what, uh, for the rest of your life? What, well, hopefully none of it because he's a psychopath and he's very damaged. So I don't know if I want to take any of the characteristics, but again, like I was saying before, the experience. I think as an artist, uh, this guy has been so much fun to play because I feel like every 10 episode block, there's been another side of Theo. And 6B doesn't disappoint. It's like we get to dive deeper and get our hands dirty. And like, who is this guy? And what is, you know, can he ever be... You see Theo defeated in a way. He's like this outsider. He's looking for, you know, that connection, the inclusion within the pack, and he doesn't have it. You make it, it kind of like pulls on the heartstrings of the audience, you know? Uh, you know, really seeing this guy for who he is. So I'm excited for that in regards to 6B, but just the whole experience, the ride that I've been able to take, uh, it's been a blast. And it's been something so special. I know that wherever I go in my career in the future, the significance will never go away from me. It will never go away from me. And I'm so thankful for that experience. So I know when you were first brought into the show, you talked about how coming in as a new person to an established cast, it didn't even feel like you had come into something that you were not already a part of. Was it sort of the same when they brought back some of the older cast members I to come in? I can't speak on that. Um, personally, just because I wasn't really there. My filming schedule was so weird. Uh, I was always dipping and dodging out of schedule, so I was never like, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with, with the OGs that came back. But absolutely, I can imagine that it was the same, if not more, because they had that, that sort of connection where these guys have been there from the beginning, you know what I mean? I, I jumped in on season five, I couldn't imagine somebody that was there in season one. So absolutely, I know that was there. The relationships that we've established on the show, uh, they, they are special, they really are. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. you have a great day, all right? Thank you. Thank you.